crop distribution method in antibiotic susceptibility testing. Stock distribution method. In this stock distribution method, the principle is same as that of the herbivore distribution method or diffusion method. That means the antibiotics is diffused into the medium. So the surrounding whatever organism is present, that organism is killed by the action of this antibiotic. Preparation of inoculum from primary culture plate. So this is the primary culture plate. Here you can see there are so many colonies are there in the primary culture plate. And each colony represents single type of organism. So one colony we will take with the help of this inoculating loop and we will transfer or we will inoculate this single colony into a liquid culture or broth. And this broth may be sterile water, nutrient broth or peptone water. And this is the first step. And after that, the inoculum we will compare with this 0.5 Mecklenburg standard. So this is our inoculum and this is the Mecklenburg standard. And this Mecklenburg standard is a reference standard to check the turbidity or to compare the turbidity of the inoculum. So that our inoculum will be standardized by comparing this Metperland standard with our inoculum. The shaping of inoculum to Mullahinda Agar after checking the Metperland standard, 0.5 Metperland standard or comparing the Metperland standard, we will make three parts in the Mullahinda Agar in the case of crop culture method. First and the third part is control. Here you can see this picture. And the center part is called the test. And we will launch culture the control screen into the first and third part. The test organism is launch culture into the center part of the Muller Hinder agar. After launch culture, we will incubate the culture plate at 37 degrees Celsius for 60 to 18 hours or overnight incubation. And later we will observe the zone of inhibition. Here, this is the Muller Hinder agar plate. This Muller Hinder agar plate we will divide into three parts the first part, second part, and the third part. This is the first part we will inoculate the or we will launch culture the control strain. And this middle part, the second part, we will inoculate the test strain. And the last, the third part, we will inoculate the control strain. That means the first and third part we have the control strain. And the sender part, we will lawn culture the test plate. After that, we will keep the antibiotics this in between these two portions. Like that. That means after incubation, we will get the result like this. And after incubation, we will compare the zone diameter of control to the test. Control to the test. While comparing the zone diameter, you will get an idea about whether organism is resistant or sensitive to particular drug. In stock diffusion method, we have one more method is there that is modified stock distribution method. Here we have only one difference. We already told that the Muller Hinder Agar we will divide into three parts first part, second part, and third part. In stock distribution method, the center portion we will launch culture the test strain and all other portion the first and third part we will add the control strain in this modified stock distribution method the center portion we will launch culture the control strain and the other portion the first part and the third part we will launch culture the test strain after that we will compare the control strain diffusion or the uh, zone of inhibition with the test strain Subscribe to Simply MicroMed. If you're curious about medical microbiology, infectious diseases, and unraveling the mysteries of tiny organisms, hit that subscribe button. Join our community of science enthusiasts, and let's explore the microscopic world together. Remember, knowledge is contagious. Spread it by liking and subscribing. Thank you.